Are you aware that Adobe is hiking the price of the photography plan by 50% this coming January? Are you clear on all the changes and what your options are? I'm Darlene with Digital Photo Mentor, and it wasn't 100% clear to me either. So I did a little bit of digging, and in this video, I'll show you all of the options that are available and hopefully clarify it a bit for you. So if you're ready to see what's new with Adobe, let's dive in. Adobe hasn't increased their subscription prices in over 10 years, so we had to know this was coming. But it's a big jump for certain people and no changes for others. Some of the plans are increasing by 50%, and if you're in Canada like me, by the time we factor in the exchange rate, it's more like a 66% or higher increase. The changes officially come into effect as of January 15th, 2025, but not everyone will be affected and you may still have some time to decide. It's based on the annual renewal date in your account. Let's take a closer look at the changes. There's one main change. If you're currently subscribed to the least expensive photography plan that includes Lightroom and Photoshop and 20 gigs of Adobe Cloud Storage, your price will be going from $9.99 a month to $14.99. As I said, that is an increase of 50%. However, that only affects you if you're paying monthly. But if you only pay once a year, your price stays the same at $119.88. Confusing, right? Let's dig deeper. So as I already mentioned, point number two on the screen now is if you have the 20 gig plan and you already pay annually or once a year, nothing will change for you. If you have the one terabyte plan, whether you're paying monthly or annually, your price remains the same as well. But there's more. For some casual users of Photoshop and Lightroom who enjoy the monthly option of paying $9.99 per month and then canceling periodically and just resubscribing for a few months here and there, that option goes away as of January 15th. So if you cancel and renew, you will only have the option to get the one terabyte plan. Or if you are a new customer, you will only have the one terabyte plan option as well. So as of January 15th, the 20 gig plan will cease to exist for anybody except those who pay for it annually. So if you want to stay on that plan, you need to change your subscription now from monthly to paid annually. Then you will lock in that package and that price. For how long? We don't know. There's nothing to say that Adobe won't raise the price of that plan in a year as well. But worst case scenario, at least you'll have it for a year. I mentioned your subscription date earlier. If you sign into your Adobe account, you'll be able to see what plan you have currently and your renewal date. Let's take a look. This is what my account looks like. Once you're logged in, just click your little bio photo in the upper right corner and manage account. You'll be taken to a page that looks like this. You can see which apps and things you have included and your next billing cycle. You can see that mine is set to renew in March of 2026 on the annual plan. If you see monthly, you can change that to annual yourself. I had challenges doing that online and I ended up having to use the Adobe chat window to contact their support. But try this method first and see if it works for you. Click manage plan, then you'll see which plan you're currently signed up for. Then you'll be able to change it clicking here. You can see that mine has already been changed to annual and the option is to change it back to monthly, which of course I don't want to do. So if you're already on the annual payment, meaning your credit card gets charged once a year by Adobe, then you don't have to do anything, just leave it. The other thing that wasn't 100% clear to me and still isn't because I can't get straight answers from Adobe support is what happens if you wait until closer to your renewal date? 
will you be able to switch it then to the annual plan and still get the same pricing? I don't know. I didn't want to chance it. Even though my renewal was January 13th, I decided to do it now and just get it over with. So if you want to lock in both the 20 gig plan and the pricing for the next year, I would recommend doing it sooner rather than later. It's not clear what will happen after January 15th and whether or not that will even be an option for you. I didn't want to chance it. I know ultimately this question is going to come up as well. What if you want some Adobe alternatives and you're ready to jump ship? No problem. There are many other photo editing apps available. Here are just a few of them. I use Luminar Neo in conjunction with Lightroom and Photoshop as a plugin, so I keep all three. If you're looking to switch from Adobe to something else and you want a digital asset management or something that has a good catalog, I would recommend either Exire Photo and Luminar Neo. They work really well together to sort and organize your images in Exire Photo and edit them in Luminar Neo. Or you can look at one of the other apps like Capture One. It is quite a bit more expensive though. On One Photo Raw, not my favorite app and not one that I recommend personally. Affinity Photo, which is kind of like Photoshop Elements, but it doesn't have a catalog or image management or browser, so you can't really organize your files with it. You can just edit one at a time. Or you could look at some of the free options like Darktable or GIMP. But again, you get what you pay for, so they will have limited functionality. And if you're used to Lightroom and Photoshop, you may find them frustrating. Photo Mechanic is another option for organization and file management, but once again, it's fairly expensive. Let me pull up the price pages on a few of these options for you. Of course, we're already talking about Adobe. The prices seen here and on the other pages that I'm about to show you are all in US currency. This one here, the one terabyte plan, will not change. So if you either want that plan or you're using it now, you don't have to do anything. This is the one that's going to change. The price will either go up or it will disappear if you don't already own this plan. As of recording this video, Skylum currently has a sale on Luminar Neo. They often have seasonal or special offers from time to time. So check back on the Skylum website. Remember to also use my discount code DPM10 to get an additional 10% off Luminar when you check out. You could see here the regular price for Luminar for one year is $143, but for the most part, I don't know anybody that pays that. Usually you can find it under $98 US per year. You can also buy the lifetime license, which you can see is more expensive. Buying that option does not mean you get unlimited updates though. So if you always wanna have the current tools, it's still best to go with the subscription option. Exire Photo is currently on special as well for $169. If you're going to use it in conjunction with Luminar or something else, then Exire Photo is the one you want. Exire Search is only a plugin for Lightroom. So if you're ditching Adobe, this is not the one you want. As you can see, On One Photo Raw is also on sale for the end of the year. And right now it's a pretty good deal. But as I mentioned earlier, I've tried on One Photo Raw several times over the years and I really want to like it, but I just do not. So it's not one that I would recommend. Capture One is another great tool that a lot of professionals use, but as you can see, it comes with a big price tag as well. Affinity Photo is another one I mentioned, and you can get it fairly reasonably at only $69.99. However, there's a lack of digital asset management or image browser. So if you just want to edit a single image at a time without an image browser, and you want to use Exire or Photo Mechanic in conjunction with that, then Affinity might be a good option for you. It's not one that I use personally in my workflow or teach, so I can't really tell you much more about it other than what you see here. I mentioned two free options. Darktable is similar to Lightroom. See the play on words there. And GIMP is kind of like Photoshop or Affinity. It's a single image editor. You can do things like add text 
and it works with layers as well. But there is a learning curve on both of those tools and there's not a lot of educational material available for them because they're free and most professionals don't use them. So you're kind of on your own if you venture into that territory. The other file management program I mentioned is Photo Mechanic. It does a great job of organizing your images and doing just that, managing your files. However, it too comes with a heftier price tag. You could see the price annually for regular or plus or to buy it outright. So in my opinion, it doesn't make sense to make a switch from Adobe if you're going to be paying about the same amount anyway. So where does that bring us? Right back where we started. You have a decision to make about your Adobe subscription. If you're on the 20 gig pay by month plan, I would recommend switching it to annual to lock in that price. That's what I did. Then a year from now, if there's another price increase, we can make a decision as to how to proceed at that time. For me, that was the simplest option to continue moving forward. I do want to mention one other thing that happened to me when I changed my account. For some reason, I had Adobe Express Premier included with my photography plan. I don't know if I got that by accident or what happened there, but when I changed to the annual plan, that ceased to exist. And some of the designs that I had made using Adobe Express, which is kind of like Canva, it's an in-browser design app. And it's really easy to use to make featured images and things like that. In fact, I made the featured image for this video using Adobe Express. But when I changed my account, it knocked me down and now I only have the free version and not the premium version. So check your account very carefully. I think Adobe has done some sneaky things under the hood, like taking away a few extra perks that we had before, thinking that people might not notice. Like I said, I either had that by somebody else's mistake previously, or it was part of the plan before and now it's not. I don't have any screenshots proving either way. I just know what I had in my account three days ago that is now gone. So I've actually had to upgrade and pay for Adobe Express monthly, another $9.99 US per month to keep all my assets. So as I said, double check your account before you make any changes. And if you have to talk to Adobe support, good luck. If your experience is anything like mine, you're in for some frustration. So I wish you one final good luck updating your Adobe account. If you decide to stick with Adobe and you want some help using Lightroom and Photoshop, I have a course on each one of those. Check out the link below. If you want to watch another video here on YouTube, pick one on the screen now. Until next time, take care and happy photo editing.